This conference will now be recorded. Okay, welcome to the commissioner's work session of November 23rd. Um, recorded, anything said and it will become part of public record. Um, there's a couple of items to discuss today, but I think we'll start with announcements. Um, the first announcement is that I uh, met with Skirta this morning and uh, we decided that due to some staffing shortages and a uh, COVID outbreak that we would be um, essentially going back to the rules that we had in place in the spring. Uh, it's still accessible to the public, but by appointment only. Um, so you'll need to call ahead to the office that you're trying to meet with um, and then uh, go to the single point of entry. Uh, everything else that, that pertains to uh, of announcements really just pertain to employees. But uh, this time I'd ask if there's any questions from a public perspective uh, as to that closure. Okay. Oh. Hearing no. Um, did you have something that you wanted to bring up too? Something that I wanted to bring up? Yeah, I thought I saw an email that you wanted to bring something up. Yeah, it was only as I was looking at the agenda for the actual commissioner's meeting. Um, there were some COVID related expenditures that are going to come before us and I'd like to get an updated comprehensive list of what we've committed to, what money's left. There's just a typical routine. Um, kind of have that available. I don't, I'm, I didn't know if Jeff has seen it. I mean, I think it's been a while. I'm not sure if we've committed anything more. So that's all. I, yeah, the last time I updated that file was the third. So some things have changed. I will uh, work on that and send it out in advance of the meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Uh, oh, right. The other big announcement um, would be that we'll be moving our meetings back to virtual. So obviously today, as well as the meeting on the um, on Wednesday. And Pam, did you also move it back to noon, was it? Yes, I did. Very good. Um, yeah, no one was really coming at 5.30 anyway that wasn't coming at noon, so uh, I think that'll be fine. Um, okay, any old items of discussion? I'm not aware of any. New items, I also don't have, think we have anything. The budget was released uh, last week, and uh, it's still slated to be voted on in December. Uh, at this time, I guess that uh, would be a good time to uh, hear, Sue, what you wanted to bring up about the budget. Yes, um, we were not told where they were going to put the mileage on, and we couldn't figure out where they were putting it on this year. Now I finally mm -hmm. figured it out, and there was nothing put on for mileage, our budget then, because now we're finding out that they are putting it under conference and travel. Mm -hmm. and when added those two totals before, which was 3600 per conference, I believe, and travel was 600 or else it was the opposite way. So nothing was added for our travel period. So that means to be included in a different line item, Sue? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. See, before in 2018 and 19, our commute miles was by itself, totally separate. So for 2020, we couldn't figure out where they were putting it. Now we finally discovered that up until September, they were putting it under Alexa's salary. And the only reason I know that is because I got a hold of all three of us' paycheck to compare it. And that's where it was going to. And now they started it under conferences and travel. Right. And so that needs to be added, but we also have a couple of questions about mileage. Our miles got cut. First of all, if I could, uh, you're currently slated for 4,200 in conferences and travel. 2,700 of that is mileage. Uh, so the remainder of it would be for your conference, which I believe you'd asked for, was it? 1200 it would have been 1800 um is your conference going to be virtual or something this year 
Yeah, I'm using my phone. I'm over with Helena at the day's end right now. Um, so that's why I'm trying to figure out. Oh, okay, so you're, yeah, the conference is going to be in Warren, so you're not going to need more than, how much will you yeah, need for your conference? We don't know if we're having it Warren next year. As far as I know from talking to our president, it was going to be new, moved to another county for next year, and we were going to wait on having it. Okay. So you're saying so we, we're, we don't know at this point which county is supposed to be having the conference next year. Okay, so currently we have one. We have fifteen hundred dollars in the budget for you to go to conference. You're saying that that needs to be okay. increased to how much? Um. Before it's been like two thousand or more. I'm not sure because it depends on the hotels and that, and how much the price of the hotels are around here. Of course, we wouldn't have to pay, but somewhere else, the one we went to Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. We went to Pittsburgh, and it was a lot more expensive. So I don't know. I would say two thousand to twenty five hundred total for the conference. Okay, so you're asking for five hundred more dollars. Yeah, we'll try it that way. Okay, we will relay that to Eric. See if we can make that okay. budget. Okay. Now our mileage got cut. Like Colleen and I were turning in twenty eight miles round trip, and then we got an email saying it was being cut to twenty seven point four. Then it got cut to twenty six point two for us. Rick's went up for some reason. His went from 24 round trip to 24.8 and then back down to 22. I don't understand why the miles are changed. Probably a question for Eric. I, I, I want to say that he was using, trying to use a, 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 a mileage system like uh, Google Maps or something like that, which would be consistent from address to address. Um, but it, it probably would be a good thing to ask Eric um, how he made those changes in the support associated. Yeah, because our address right now, we can't even bring it up on the either of the map. For some reason, our road got deleted, which is crazy. But the other issue is now Eric is telling us that we have to work three and a half hours before we can even claim mileage. Where does it state that in the county code? That that particular issue, I think that we'll have to have a conversation with them about because I don't think anybody here is aware of that. Okay. Well, I have the email that I can send it later to show you that that's what he's doing to us, and I don't understand why as long as we don't go over the amount of days, the 182 days. Yeah, we can, we'll, we'll talk to them about it. Okay. I don't, right. I don't know that anyone here is interested in that being a policy, so, we're, you know, we'll, we'll have a conversation about it. Okay, I would appreciate it because there, there is some days where we come in and only work an hour or two, but then there is some days where we work eight or ten hours. So it equals out in the end as long as we don't go over 182 days, period. Right. So that's why I wanted to bring it up to see if you guys knew anything about it or if this is a policy that Eric is just deciding to do or what? I thought that we did discuss it, but I also don't remember any decision point at it. So we'll have to circle back. I mean, I guess the question for you would be, I mean, minimum number amount of time that you would spend in the courthouse before it would make sense to do the mileage. Meaning you wouldn't want to drive in 
pick up a file and walk back out and then charge mileage for that, right? Right. So we stay a couple of hours usually, but then there's days where we stayed eight or ten hours. Because right sure, now we're at the tail end of our hours, so we've been kind of doubling up on them here and there. So. All right, well, we'll talk with uh, Bethel about it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to drop out. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, um, any new items of discussion to bring up? Not here. Okay. Um, Looking at the agenda for Wednesday, we just have some CARES Act stuff, uh, agreement with Thompson Reuters for the uh, legal, some announcements. Anything else that you want to vote on? If not, it looks like one of those meetings that could be under five minutes. I don't have anything else then. Okay. Pam, is there anything else we should be adding? I do not have anything else given to me yet. So what I sent you today is what we have. Okay. Well, unless anything comes up in the near near future, um, we'll let it stand. I don't see, uh, unless Josh, uh, you as public, will have any questions? No, it's pretty straightforward. Just wanted to see if the courthouse was shutting down and if effectively it is, so. Yeah, yeah. so that was 15 minutes ago effective um, by appointment only, so noon. Right. And that'll extend through the remainder of this week, which of course is only two and a half more business days. Um, but all the offices should be available on some level, so contact them if it's not like services are ending. Are you still having uh, employees in the building? Are they yes. remote? So each department is making their own determination uh, based on um, everything from quarantine to uh, risk or uh, workload. So some departments are continuing to work, uh, you know, under the normal COVID protocols, and uh, some departments will be staggering, uh, so that only one employee is in at a time. It's really identical to our policy in the spring. Got it. Sounds good. Thanks. Anything else? Well, I think we hit everything on the agenda. Um, I saw the solicitor walk by, so we may be going into an executive session, but I'm not aware in particular. No other departments on. So, oh, anything to note schedule-wise? I mean, <laughs> I, I guess the only thing I would note is that on Friday, despite it being a holiday, um, we'll be meeting with the judge to make the determination on next week. Uh, so, Commissioner, that would be wonderful. All right, not hearing anything else. I'll go ahead and uh, adjourn the work session. Thanks for joining. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.